Hello guys, welcome back. Glock has been a long-standing partner of not just law enforcement agencies in the US, but around the world. The ease of maintenance, simplicity, and most importantly, reliability are the few areas where Glock has set the benchmarks. These features have made the Glock a name that is known to people who have nothing to do with guns. Among the options Glock offers in 9mm, the G17 is probably the most popular, but I rank G45 right up there with G17. The 45 and the G45 can be confusing, but let me tell you it has nothing to do with 45 ACP, and like the G19, it chambers in 9mm. As for why I like it so much, well, there are many reasons which I'll come to later on. For now, you just need to know that it is a crossover of G19 and G17. It uses a compact G19 size slide and a full size frame of G17. Initially, the release was met with disappointment as people were expecting a crossover between G19 and G26. The idea was it is possible to conceal a longer barrel but not a longer frame. However, I for one do not resonate with this idea. I mean, there are hundreds of purpose-built concealed carry in the market. Why not simply just pick one of them? So if you are one of those people who happen to like long slide short frame design, I'm afraid this handgun is not for you. As for the rest of you, it is a really capable handgun and let me tell you why. Design and Ergonomics You may not know this, but the Glock 45 is one of the few handguns that was developed after taking the preferences of law enforcement professionals into account. The entire design of G45 is built around the idea that it needs to be quick and effective, which are the top priorities of law enforcement professionals. Going to the law officers was not just a gimmick. Glock actually took pointers from police officers to design this weapon, which becomes evident the moment you hold the gun. I have found it to be the most balanced of handguns, at least as far as polymer frame weapons are concerned. In contrast to most handguns, it is not front heavy, which provides a nice balance. The optimal weight distribution and a full size grip make it very easy to handle and control. Like the other Gen 5 models, the new G45 also lacks finger grooves which I happen to like. I think those grooves provide a better grip but some of you might think otherwise and Glock has made you feel heard. Anyways, even for the people who liked finger grooves, this should not be a deal breaker considering the other features on this handgun. Furthermore, the grip has a decent aggression, just enough to provide a secure grip even with sweaty hands without producing any abrasion. I think it is important to mention that the G45 5th Gen comes with front slide serrations which not just helps with press checking but also helps in racking it up in some cases. Furthermore, all the controls including the slide stop lever and magazine release are reversible, so left-handed shooters are not going to have any problems. If the design was not ambidextrous, it would have been a pain for left-handed shooters to reach the controls when needed. While the gun provides an excellent grip to people with average and large-sized hands, it might not be true for people with small hands you guys will be better off with the compact design of G19. Sights and Trigger One area where Glock never fails to disappoint is sights. I mean, even the latest models come out of the factory with OEM Glock sights which are just fine at best. I'm not saying they are ineffective, but they are also not the best in the market or even close to them. Anyways, one plus point with the G45 5th Gen is that it comes with an optic cut straight out of the factory. As for the trigger, it is exactly what you expect from Glock. Some people will love it, others likely would not have the same sentiments. Glock has tried to improve it by making it smoother than others, but despite that, it is not the best trigger out on the market. If you are coming from the Gen 3 or Gen 4 model, you will certainly notice the improvement. The new trigger has a nice short and defined reset which along with consistent trigger pull enables accurate follow-up shots. I feel the trigger guard should have been a bit more open for easier operations with gloves on, but again, not a deal breaker. I have seen many people keeping this trigger who otherwise almost always get it replaced on their Glocks. So while it still does not meet my benchmarks, 
it can be safely said that it is a pretty decent trigger. Performance Before I get into performance, let me tell you that Glock has introduced a marksman barrel which is based on the polygonal barrel design to deliver more accurate shots. Plus, it includes a loaded chamber indicator which allows you to confirm whether the gun is chambered. A handy addition, I must say. You can feel the extractor protrude from the slide to know whether the round is chambered. Since it is a tactile confirmation, it works in a dark environment as well. Let's move to shooting. And let me just tell you straight up, it is simply incredible. You may feel a bit anxious shooting with a long grip and a short slide, but the moment you take the first shot, everything starts to fall into place. During my testing at 30 to 45 feet, the handgun delivered decent groupings which began to tighten up after every magazine I shot. By the time I shot almost two magazines, I was able to get really tight grips from almost about 65 feet. To be honest, I'm not sure whether the new barrel plays a role, but the results are excellent nonetheless. As for recoil, it is exactly what you expect from a 9mm. It was very manageable and offered minimal muzzle rise which contributed to those tight shots. I was shooting in daylight, so those sights with all their shortcomings were helping. They helped to acquire targets quickly, and thanks to minimum muzzle rise, I did not have to find the target again every time I took a follow-up shot. The fact that it comes with 18 rounds capacity is also a plus. To top it all off, Glock packs three magazines in the package. It essentially guarantees the fun at the range, not to mention the confidence one feels while stepping out of the house with a handgun with a capacity of 18 rounds. Reliability and Durability I have put reliability in last because people who are familiar with Glock know that their handguns rarely experience any issues. But for those who are new to this market, let me tell you that there is a reason it is the most popular firearm brand in the world. The G45 is not different in any way. It eats up all sorts of ammo without running into any issues. You would not experience any jam if you feed it with subpar ammo. That said, using such ammo may impact the performance of a handgun, as you might not get as accurate shots with them. Hence, I always recommend using quality ammo, especially when you are using this weapon for personal or home defense. It is the same story with durability. You are not going to run into any issues even if you throw a bit of abuse at it. Furthermore, the Gen 5 Glock 45 comes with NDLC coating, which is the most notable enhancement. It is a premium finish that uses ion bonding and resists scratches and corrosion. Is it better than G19? When you are out in the market, the G19 will feel its closest rival, but to tell you honestly, there is not much difference between the two pistols. You see, the G45 and G19 are essentially the same guns. The only difference between them is the grip size, and which grip size fits in your hand is a matter of personal preference. I happen to have slightly larger hands, which makes G45 a natural choice for me. As for those who may have smaller hands, the G19 will work the best. The benefits and shortcomings of both handguns are all the same. You just have to figure out the right grip for your hands. I know the G19 has a slightly shorter magazine capacity of about 15, but it does not mean much on the larger picture. That is all for this video. I hope it has been fun and comprehensive. Let me know what you think of it in the comments section and stay connected with the channel. As always, I'll see you in the next one.